Skating and hockey are good exercise and good fun for these teens. But at this rink in Mississauga, there's plenty of entertainment even when you're off the ice. Most ice resurfacers in Canada run on natural gas or propane. Burning those generates nitrogen oxides, the same pollutants produced by gas stoves. They're linked to respiratory problems like asthma. But this one is electric, and that could make a big difference to the air these kids are breathing. Between 2017 and 2020, Health Canada measured indoor air quality at 16 rinks in Ottawa and Saskatchewan. At seven of those rinks, nitrogen oxides were sometimes above Health Canada's short-term exposure limits. Those levels climbed through the day and only dropped part way overnight. So at the very start of a day in an ice arena, they're sometimes double, three, four times the level outside the building before they even do one resurfacing of the arena. An electric resurfacer changed that. When we switched to electric, it was continuously at or below the outdoor limits. So you drew it, knocked it down 10 to 20 times by switching over to an electric very quickly. So it was a great way to remove the pollution in a building. It's been a trend across the country, from North Couch in BC to Halifax, Nova Scotia, and to Mississauga, Ontario, despite the higher upfront cost. To the extent that we can electrify our fleet, we want to switch over to electric, and that, of course, moves us away from the comb internal combustion engines, away from other types of fuel, pollution, and, of course, it's uh, a more climate-friendly solution for our ice rinks. In the old days when I started, you could always smell the propane from the old Zambonis, and that wasn't a very good hockey rink smell. So I think it's pretty cool, no pun intended, but it's a breath of fresh air. Making arenas a little greener, cleaner, and healthier. Emily Chung, CBC News, Mississauga.